Today I want to talk to you guys about the DJI GO 4 app and some security concerns that have been raised this week. Now the GO 4 app is used on many of DJI's most popular models, aircraft including the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic Pro, the Inspire 2 among many others. Now in this video I just want to give you guys a quick overview of the information that's been put out there, try and explain a little bit about it and at the end I'm going to give you my thoughts on this whole situation. Now just before I get into this I'd just like to say if you find it interesting please do consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell as well. Also there are some links in the description if you'd like to support the channel and there is also a link to our Patreon page too. Okay, so to try and walk you through this, this week a company called Synactive have released some information with regards to the Go 4 app on Android. They have been doing some investigations and those investigations have been backed up by another company called Grimm and they confirm Synactive's findings are correct. Now they have found four areas of serious concern. The first of these is with regards to updating the app. Now when you have an Android app it's usually updated via the Google Play Store. However, However, they have found that DJI have the option of updating the app remotely to third party servers including their own ones and what they're actually doing here is actually updating the app outside of the Play Store and that means then that you don't actually know what you're getting is safe and secure. Now normally as I said when you choose to update that app you're getting has been vetted and checked by either Apple or Android before you have actually got it. What this update method means is that they could potentially create a special version of the app targeted to specific users and send that down to those users only to update and no one would actually know that it has come from a third party server and they wouldn't know what else is actually going on in the background. Now just to be clear on this I am not saying that DJI are doing this and I'm not saying that they are doing anything naughty with this but the fact that the app has the ability to be updated outside of the Play Store raises some serious security concerns. Now the next big thing they have found is regards to a Weeboo plugin within the app itself. Now this is one of the social Social media plugins however they have found an issue with this that this plugin could actually install third-party applications on your device now this isn't directly related to DJI themselves because it is actually this Weeboo plugin that is doing it however the fact that DJI are bundling this with the go for app means they are putting you at risk. Further to that there has also been some concerns around the data being collected via the Weibo access as well and there is clear evidence that it is accessing data that they should never need to access outside of what you would need for the ability to fly your drone. Now the third thing they have found relates to older versions of the Go 4 app before version 4.3.36 and it uses a third party plugin called Mob SDK and there has been some security concerns around this in the background taking data or having access to data that the user hasn't been given permission for. Now again this specifically relates to older versions but it does raise another concern of what data the Go 4 app is accessing. Now the fourth and final thing that they found is regarding the app actually running in the background. They have found that when you actually close the Go4 app via the normal method it can actually restart itself in the background without the user knowing. Now this is frankly a little bit disturbing and there is no technical reason this needs to happen. Now they do say that you can kill the app via the Android system however normal method of closing the app means that it can actually restart start itself and carry on doing whatever it was doing without the user actually knowing. Now whilst I was filming this video DJI have actually released a statement regarding these issues and I will discuss that now in a second. I do want to emphasize again that everything that I have said and everything that is suggested here is not saying DJI are stealing user data it is simply saying that these capabilities or these issues have been found but there is nothing to suggest 
suggest that any private user data has actually been taken without their permission. Now, as I said, DJI have released a statement where they talk about a number of the points raised here. With regards to the app starting itself, they are disputing this fact. However, they are looking into it further. But as far as they're saying, this does not happen. With regards to the app updating itself and the Weeboo integration, they are saying that these are theoretical issues and ones that all apps suffer when bugs are found. Now, something I did find interesting, especially with the Weeboo integration bit, they also said any issues with relating to that should be directed at them and not DJI. Personally, that is a cop out because DJI are integrating that software into their platform. And as far as I am concerned, they are responsible for it once they do that. And it is not as simple as saying, well, we've put it in, but it's not our fault if they take people's data. They need to ensure anything that they bake into their system for users to use is safe and secure to use as they would with their own software. So to give you my thoughts on this, well, frankly, it is not good enough. This is not the first time DJI have had issues. And whilst in the past, these have been able to be brushed off as mistakes and things like that, to have the same kind of issues come up again is simply not acceptable. And it can't be said it's another mistake. I am a massive fan of DJI products. I have supported them for many years. I use them on my channel all of the time. However, having these kinds of security concerns with things like the app being able to start itself in the background, the app having the ability to be updated outside the Play Store, and these issues around the Weibo plugin are just not acceptable and users should not have to put up with this. Now, what I would do about this as follows. If you are an Android user and you have a device that you're using and you have genuine data on there you feel you want to keep secure, I would get yourself another device and use that for flying with your DJI aircraft. iOS users here and now, there is nothing to suggest there's anything to be concerned about. However, that is suggest. Again, if you have anything on your device that is secure, I would simply use another one to fly with on your aircraft. As I've mentioned, I am a massive fan of DJI and it is extremely disappointing to see these issues come up and for them to actually be caught again like this when they've actually been here before and we hoped and thought that these things had been resolved and secure. Now we really need a new app which is totally open in the sense of it should be independently third party checked. It should have the ability to be totally offline unless the user chooses to go online. And they should also have the ability to turn off some of these things in the background as well. Because some other things that were found as part of this is that if you turn off certain functionality, the app just won't work. So whilst they are giving you the options to control your privacy, you can't use the app if you wanted to. And frankly, it's just bizarre. And the fact that if you want to turn off something and they say, well, if you turn it off, you can't use the app, then why put the switch there? Now, I will put a link in the description of this video to both Synactive as well as the Grim or the Grime um, information that has been provided. And if there are any updates on this, I will produce a video to let you guys know. Now, I do also just want to say again, whilst this is extremely concerning, there is still at no point anything to suggest any data has actually been transferred, as I understand it. It is simply that there are concerns around capabilities within the app that mean that data could be compromised, but that isn't to say that it is. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned at the start, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. Please do check out my Patreon page and I will release another video again soon.